All right, he's home, and I think Desiree should... Maybe she could, as the little sister, ask about Day. And then realize that her brother... I hear you just took a selfie of his tattoo. <laughs> totally Instagrammed it. And maybe she can give a little pep talk as his little sister. She's like... Mom and dad are going to kill you. He's like, well, I'm aware of that. Hey, Simleys, it's Delicracy here, and welcome to part 33 of Let's Play The Sims 4. It is a Tuesday morning, pretty early. Uh, the household's getting up and doing their thing, which is really good. All right, so Desiree is still asleep. And a few of you guys were saying that they keep going to school really late, and it's really bad, so we're going to try and get them to school on time but she's done her homework which is a good thing so let's get her to be in a good mood to go to school in so i reckon she's going to take a brisk shower in here and then carter who's just checking out some naked dude on the wall why don't you make yourself some breakfast if you're complaining i don't know where your stuff is oh and it's almost desiree's birthday i think it's tomorrow where are we where are we Days till age up two. Yep. Oh, I love listening to Desiree singing in the shower because she's musical. Oh, she stopped. Sing again for us. Oh, she stopped singing now. <laughs> I love that. All right, Liberty, you need to get some food before you start doing that kind of a thing. And her schooling is still really bad. She's just not in a good mood. School for Liberty starts in an hour, so quickly have something to eat. Xavier, how are you going? You have work in two hours, so you need something to eat as well. Just going to let them take care of their own uh, food needs. Quickly, make something, girl. Oh, don't make a garden salad. That'll take forever. Maybe I will uh, get her to have a quick meal. Come on, go, go, girl. Oh, a lot of you guys were saying that she always wears this blue dress. She does have other outfits, though. We'll uh, give her every day three, maybe, for a change. Nice. There we go. She's wearing a polka dot skirt. She's not in the mood <laughs> for talking to Xavier, clearly. Oh, well. Um, Xavier, what are, you, what are you doing? What are you doing? Liberty's done. Carter, why are you upset? <sighs> are these okay to eat? Quality good. We'll grab a serving of that. And then you need to go to school. She's feeling energized. Maybe have a quick hamburger as well. I feel like these hamburgers are off there. Oh, well. Okay. Well, they should be at school, right? Off you go, girl. Off to grade school. Awesome. Cool. I think she's all right now. She's energized. Uh, Liberty is... Oh, I kind of wanted her to go to school focus, but oh, well. That'll do. Carter, that's enough breakfast for you as well. There we are. So they're all uncomfortable from unpleasant surroundings. So I think we need to do some spring cleaning. What happens to our maid? Like, seriously, every time we get a maid, the maid goes away. She never stays. Like, honestly, it's the worst maid service ever. <laughs> um, we also need to do a little bit of renovation in this part as well. Um, this should give us money, right? Yes. Woo! Get some monies. What? Can we only do that once? Oh, well that wasn't very exciting. Oh no, you can. Oh well. I don't know why that plate didn't work. We're, we're not doing badly for money. I mean, we have like 60,000 simoleons, which is really good. Um, I feel like Xavier should be at work. Work in seven minutes. Well, we are, we are ready for that. Can we... What else do we need? He's, in a, he's doing really well, actually. He needs to describe aesthetics to other sims. That's something we do need to work on. What's Ashton up to? He works in two days. He needs to use a toilet. Easy to do. Trinity is feeling playful in the bathtub. Oh, I love it when she wears her mum her mom clothes, her white t-shirt and jeans. I feel like that's, that is mum clothes. She hasn't had work for a while. So let's just get her typing. Let's get her to work on her novel that we started. Right. Wait, didn't we start? Mm. Thought we started one. 
All right, here then we will write a genre book and we'll do a playful book. Sounds good. Cody's having quite the sleep in. I think uh, I think you need to have a shower. That's for sure. And then you work in three days. What are you doing? I feel like I want to look at him up close. I don't know why. Ah. Not while he's naked, though. We should give him privacy. All right, so he needs to cook five excellent dishes. Bathroom cash. While taking a quick break, Liberty spies some money just sitting on a sink in the bathroom. Should she slide it in her locker for safekeeping or just turn it into the principal right away? Well, it depends how much it is. I mean, if it's like $5, I think you can just keep it. But if it was like $100, you should probably hand it in. Let's just save it, though. Who says a formal education doesn't pay off? By the end of the day, Liberty will leave... This school a little wiser and a little richer. 20 simoleons. Woo. Okay, excellent gourmet dishes. So let's get him to cook a gourmet breakfast for himself. Cook a gourmet meal. Uh, let's go for a chicken saltimbocca. Don't know what that is, but let's make it anyways. <laughs> I bet some of you, I bet. A lot of you guys know what that is. Okay, Ashton, time to work out. Want you to get a buff, because you are so buff, though, in any case. Work out. P class. Desiree's P class gets to run laps, lots of them, to build their stamina and lung capacity. Good stuff. She's mostly through the first lap when she notices a gap under the bleachers. Just the right size for a little rest. Would coach notice if she sat out for a few laps? I feel like she should keep running, but she would totally hide out. Desiree glances over her shoulder and slides quickly under the bleachers wedging her body into a nice shady spot. She watches for Kenny, a kid ahead of her. Many restful minutes later, Desiree shimmies out, finishing her last lap with a groan. Best P.E. ever. Woo. Go, girlfriend. What were the other options here? Endurance run. Let's do an endurance run. I wonder if it actually looks a little bit different. Ashton Mosley, man. Such a sexy man. Don't know why... Oh, no, Xavier's just feeling tense from work. That's okay. Let's do some renovating. I just feel like we should we should do a little bit of... Make a few changes. Um, first of all, we never finished off Trinity's... And, Trinity and Cody's bathroom, so... We need to do that. Because um, it's just looking a little bit... A little bit unfinished. I think we'll put a proper bench in here. Yeah, we'll put a proper bench in. And maybe some nice big mirrors, I think. Alrighty, um, bathroom, here we go, get some counters, might be able to get some slightly nicer ones, oh, we could just go white everything, I wouldn't mind some coloured tiles in here though on the wall just for a bit of fun, I mean Trinity and Cody, they've got this really successful family, like they've, they've really worked hard at it, so I think they should have a fun bathroom, what about blue, blue's nice. I like that. Can we have a blue shower? Woo! That matches. Awesome. Love when that happens in The Sims 4 when the colour you need is just there. <laughs> okay, what's this blue counter? Nah, I don't like blue and black. Mm, don't know about that. Could go complimentary. Nah. I reckon we go the plain white ones, so they are nice and easy. And then we can get them two sinks for his and hers. Two nice expensive sinks. Sounds good to me. What's the biggest mirror we can have here? Because we can't pop those behind, can we? No. Oh, my bad. We could go those. They're pretty big. Trinity, this is more of a Trinity mirror, but I feel like maybe Cody had a bit of an influence in this bathroom, so we might go with these more shabby, chic, shabby chick, or whatever you call them. <laughs> Never know what to say about that. Mirrors. I think that kind of goes. And then uh, maybe Trinity can have some makeup lying around. Let's go to decor items, and we should probably check if we need to pay our bills as well. There's a weird bird outside my window. I'm not sure if you guys can hear that, but it's kind of funny. Uh, right. Maybe get some soap in here. We'll go a bit of a lavender color, because that's always a nice thing. And in the 
the middle here. What should we put there? I wonder if there's like a um a bathroom cupboard of some kind. Or a towel rack. And it's not gonna let us put it there, which is a bit annoying. We can put this little duvalaki in. Nice, they have a little spot for all their bits and bobs. And I think uh we should put some proper flooring in up here. Might be nice. Is it in the other room too? Yeah. Uh, maybe some tiles. Would it be good? Where are we? Ugh, those don't go. Don't go at all. Those go there, I think. Great. And we'll just get a little bath mat. And then I just wanted to do a little bit to Carter's room too. Ugh, I don't know about that. I think Trinity might like a girly... I mean, Trin is just a girly girl, so... Probably want something a little bit cottagey maybe in there. I don't know, that look, that just looks weird. <laughs> maybe pink. Maybe we should just pull a sneaky one like that. That's good enough. And yeah, let's make it pink for Trinity's sake. She's already been pretty lenient with having a more, more or less feminine or less girly bathroom, shall we say. Carter's room, apparently the kids have really bad beds, but I like the design of these beds. <laughs> I'm not really thinking of their com comfort, am I? Uh, we could get Carter a pretty cool bed though. We could get him one of these. We could get him like this one. Or not. Why can't we? Please work. There we go. And he can jump. Like, he can fit two sims in that bed. They'll crawl across the bed to get into it. Get him a proper bedside this time around. Make it pretty boyish because he's a bit of a cool dude these days. Ow. Once baby Carter. Oh, how they grow up so quickly. I seriously can't wait to look at all of the screenshots we've taken in this family. Like, at the end of this LP. I'm not ending it anytime soon, I don't think, because I enjoy it too much. Maybe he should have a girl on a rocket above his bed. I feel like he might be the kind of teen boy to have pin-up girls on his walls. I knew a lot of guys like that. <laughs> and I was like, but you're only in high school. Maybe you can have this. No, let's put up the closest thing to a pin girl, pin up girl we have, which I think is actually that space rocket thing, because it's a little bit, it's a little bit suggestive. You can have a green rocket for a change. Awesome, and then you can have maybe a few sporty posters, bands, I'm just holding down alt to be able to move these wherever I want. You guys tend to ask that question in the let's builds. Um, maybe we should paint his walls as well. Maybe. Let's just go in and get some. We can have like an orange wall, something crazy. And then make this carpet. Mm. Just grey. Just want a grey. I want a darker grey carpet than this, so I want it like charcoal grey. Make that brown. I don't know about this wall though. Could have green. That's Trinity green there, I think. Could match his bedspread. Oh, that is kind of cool. That's nice. I like that. I'm in a bit of a blue mood today. <laughs> I've just realized. So he's going to have a bit of blue stuff around the place. Um, might go like that. Just make it a bit darker. I just want him to look super duper, like, I don't know, a little bit rebellious. Super duper boyish boy. This, this isn't necessarily boyish boy though, but I don't know. It's just Carter. I just feel like it looks like Carter now. A little bit more. Cool beans. Alright, so he's got that. He's got his own punching bag out there, which I really like. Alrighty, let's get back into it. I think I also want to get Carter a tattoo after school. 
Like, he just goes out. Maybe he can go out with one of the girls he met. I'm not really sure. Oh, sorry. I just cancelled their kiss when really kisses are a good thing for them. Whoopsies. Let's get you on here writing. Why do you not write anything, Trinity? You do have a very loving family, but you still need to bring home the bacon. Bare naked and stalk raving fats. No, let's call it Crazy Carter. And then we need to start sending <laughs> Craxy Carter. We need to start um, sending her books to the publishers because we're really not earning much, are we? Awesome. So Cody's got up in his cooking skill. Oh, he's looking very dapper today. Nice one. Let's put this in here so it doesn't go spoiled. How's Ashton's workout going? It's looking pretty good to me. What else does he need to do for his job? He needs to fitness skill and also level seven charisma skills. We just needs to get chatting to people. That's a really cool desk, by the way, because it has the wood bottom to it. I like that a lot. I like it. Um, okay, you need to cook more excellent gourmet dishes. Is your hunger done? Okay, that's enough. You've had enough. Let's get cooking again. Cook a gourmet meal, let's do garlic noodles, and we'll do another family portion. I'm going to pop that in the fridge for you. Someone can have a half-eaten something or other. It's almost Liberty's birthday as well. Oh my gosh, they're growing up so quickly. Oh, I wish we could view those when they're at school and work. Actually, it's a little bit annoying. Okay, so he's cooking away, going to get that skill up. Ashton's had enough of his workout time, I'm assuming. Why don't you practice your storytelling to get your charisma up? Such a hottie. <laughs> She's feeling tense. She get a photo of Trinity here. Working at her desk. She's a pretty good writer now. Well, let's hope she is. She should be. Um, writing, writing, writing. Level eight. She's nearly at the top of that skill set, which is really cool. Hmm. We go. Whoops. Want to look down a little bit? There we go. <laughs> Cute. Oh, good job, Xavier. He brought home lots of monies. Luckily, luckily, your brother-in-law has made some delicious noodles for you to get stuck right into as soon as you're home. Oh, good. Trin's feeling confident now. Uh, what an achievement. Trinity finished writing the entire book. All right, let's start sending our books to the publishers. Do we just go to the mailbox? Sell to publisher. Crazy Carter for one. Oh, she's busting. Just We just went to sell Crazy Carter to the publisher. And then we'll also sell Rainbow Goblins because I love that book. Can we pay bills? Get mail. Oh, we're all good. All right, go to the toilet, lovely lady. Oh, he looks so weird in his outfit. <laughs> I swear, he looks really strange. Liberty's back, great. Desiree has been working hard and she's now a grade school B student, great job. Oh, thank goodness. Why are you guys chatting on the toilet? What is with this family and chatting on the toilet, I swear? They just love it. Even when they're having a disagreement. <laughs> Congratulations, Desiree. Uh, she's not doing so well. Okay, he's doing satisfactory work. Um, okay, she's going to... You know what, girl? You need to do your homework straight off the bat. Where is your room? Let's just get you to do it now. Do your homework. And then Carter, I think we should go, like, have some fun. Who's this? <gasps> Taylor Harper. Perfect timing. Friendly introduction. How good was that timing? Oh, I love that. Okay, off you go. Just needs to have a bit of fun. And I think the fun we're going to get, maybe Taylor is pretty good at convincing. She can be a bit of a bad influence on him. Maybe discuss interests first. I mean, she's a lovely girl, but she's a bit of a cool cat. She's a bit Miss Popular, so I think she might influence him. 
Well, or more so, maybe he just wants to show off a little bit. Pick up line. He's tense because he needs to have fun. What can we do? Can we monkey around? It's fun. She's really pretty, actually. This sim was made by Simley, the Harper's family, and I don't know, I just loved this family. I thought they they had a really cool look about them, and I love how she's wearing, like, Converse shoes with her dress. Super nice. He's looking so angry. You know, you're not gonna... You're not gonna turn girls your way if you're tense all the time, Carter. What are you doing? Just chatting. It's just monkey around. Maybe ask to hang out. <laughs> They're really cute together. I like those two as a pair. Alright. Uh, ask to hang out. Is he hanging out now? Okay, I can hang out for a bit. Awesome. Well, let's, um, let's go somewhere and pretend we're going to get a tattoo. So let's go travel with. Taylor Harper will go to a community lot. Let's say that the tattoo place, they catch a bus into, I think it would be more likely to be in Oasis Springs. And I reckon they catch a bus to maybe the Solar Lounge. And then uh, we'll, we'll go into a sneaky Kaz, sneaky Kaz moments. And um, yeah, he can get a tattoo. Trinity is going to be very upset, by the way. Trinity is not going to be happy about this. Alright, so let's pretend they're going to get a tattoo. He's going to show off his outfit a little bit to her. And be like, how good would I look if I had a tattoo? Question is, what will he get the tattoo of? <laughs> and where is it going to go? Alright. Uh, let's get him... Where is tattoos? Here we go. He could get a sleeve. Oh, Trinity will die. Or he could get a love heart. For Taylor Harper. But he's seeing so many girls. I feel like he could go... Oh, two sleeves. He wouldn't be able to get two sleeves in one go. Probably wouldn't be able to get one sleeve in one go. But we'll give it a crack. Ill, not that. Mm, I kind of like the one he's got here best. Or maybe you should get a smaller tattoo and then work his way up to a sleeve. No, let's get a sleeve. I mean, it's a Sims. It doesn't have to be completely realistic. Or I could get a half sleeve. Hmm, let's get a half sleeve. You can get a real a big sleeve later. I think you could do that in one session, definitely. All right, he's got... <laughs> and it's where she can see it. Oh, that's too good. Carter, you naughty boy. <laughs> he just wants to act like a tough nut. Romance. Just compliment her appearance. And then uh, leave her hanging, maybe. We'll say goodbye. Or maybe get to know her quickly and then we'll go home. Get to know her a little bit more. Oh, she's outgoing. She does look like an outgoing girl. I really like his tattoo, though. I think that's cool. He really doesn't want to go home. <laughs> Come on, Carter, it's time. Where's Trinity at? <laughs> She's asleep. Let's get her to wake up and have a complete... Whoa, she's already feeling pretty tense. All right, maybe Carter can go upstairs and uh, try and sneak to his bedroom, but Trinity is going to cross paths with him. Where's Trin? Seems like everyone's banked up. Oh, that was cute. A little bit of romance. Trinity's like, Carter, stop. And then <laughs> yell at. <gasps> You really put it in, put your foot in this time. Oops. Oh, I totally missed it. That's forgetting a tattoo. It's like, but everyone gets them. <laughs> I 
everyone has tattoos. Lecture about responsibilities. He should be more responsible. <laughs> Xavier just always in the way. Always getting up in their business. <laughs> Cody's like, I don't want to have anything to do with this. Unpleasant uh, conversation. I don't think Trinity's one to apologize. I think she would just complain about the problems and be really angry still. And then she should call over Cody. <laughs> Yell at Cody instead. <laughs> oh dear. Bent with old friends. Yeah, she'll be like, why aren't you backing me up here? Trinity is a good mom though, I think. Like, there wouldn't be many moms happy that their son got a sleeve without them knowing. I think it's fair enough. He's like, uh oh. Maybe he should lecture about responsibilities too. She's like, oh my gosh. <laughs> Heartfelt compliments. Okay, I think they've sorted out this family issue. Family lecture for all of them. I feel like Desiree should just be here watching. <laughs> Gosh, Carter's attractive. Well, at least the family can laugh about it in the end. And to be honest, I think he looks pretty cute with that tattoo on him. Maybe he regrets it just a little bit. All that for Taylor Harper <laughs> and Ashton just thinks that he should uh, check out what's going on. Anyway, guys, I'm going to end this part right here. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I'll speak to you soon.